Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Lou, I post weekly beauty and luxury videos. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then consider hitting the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, tap that bell so you don't miss any videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, we are continuing our Zodiac series and I'm coming at you with an Aquarius look. So looking a bit different, this is really different. It took me a little bit out of my usual zone hence all the blues and whatnot i'm doing a zodiac series so every month i'll be posting looks corresponding to the zodiac so at the moment it's aquarius season so happy birthday to all you aquariuses out there comment below if you are an aquarius i'd love to see who's aquarius down here and just just before we get into the look we just want to give quick facts so aquarius is a really independent people they're humanitarians they are independent in their thinking, behaviour, everything, they're original, original ideas, you guys are so, I have only not, have one Aquarius that is close to me in my life and that person is so fixed in their thinking and you guys are just really different and original and you come, you sort of think outside the box but you are humanitarian, you do care about people, you just have your own way of showing it but you guys are water bearers, you are air sign and your ruling planet is Uranus. So comment below if you are an Aquarius, like say hi, and I hope you guys enjoyed the look. So let's see how I got this look now. All right, so we are close up to my face. I have fresh face. All I've done is prime my eyes with primer potion. Brows, I leave till last because I'm not that skilled. <laughs> and I will mess up my brows if I do them now. Okay, so jumping in, we are going to be jumping around to a few products. I try not to go for products that are limited edition, guys, because I, basically want you guys to be able to use these products and get hold of them okay so first up you guys are probably already know what brush i'm using sigma e35 we're going into the ColourPop perception palette the collab between makeup shayla i have actually done a review on this collection the palette i'll link that up there so i'm going into the shade revenge it's just this nice brown shade so just taking up my brush So you just do windshield wiper motions and just blend that color outwards. So I'm just taking mine super high up. Okay, next I'm going with the same brush and I'm going into played out, which is a bit of a deeper, deeper brown just over here. I'm just sort of, I'm bringing my brush lower down so see i've placed it so it's still going to overlap with the previous shade revenge but i'm bringing it a bit lower down just to deepen it out it's a bit warmer than i'd like so i just tapping in just tapping it and blending it right one revenge was a bit warmer than i'd like so we're just going to blend played out on top of revenge and i've been using a new moisturizer guys and it's making me break out so we're gonna get rid of that so i'm just going to go back into played out a little bit and i'm just going to place it on the inside part of my eye going into this duo from stila and I actually also included this in the first impressions video and it's their, it's their Vivid and Bright Vibrant Eye Duo and I've got it in the shade Sapphire, it's like a blue. So one shade is, they're both pretty shimmery but one, one shade is more of like a shimmer and one shade is heavily glitter, glitterized. So I'm just using the left side, the more shimmery side rather than glitter side. We're just going to put the left side with a MAC 242, again, another signature brush, just a flat shader brush. And we're just going to grab the shade and pack it onto my lid and I'm gonna try and take it high up, put it on my brush, and pat this. I can feel it crumbling, it is gross. Okay, we're going in with our finger. <laughs> so I'm just going to, because I don't want to wet the shadow, So I'm just placing it on my lid. So it's the left left side. So it's super crumbly. I presume it would probably work better wet, but 
don't really want to wet it because it's quite nice pigment and the texture already is pretty moist but it's hard sometimes with these type of formulations because you've got to figure out brushes to use so fingers working quite well I'm just going to take a bit of a smaller finger to get up there so i'm going to bring it quite high up okay so this is about as far as i want to go with my finger and i'm going back in with the brush i'm just going to press exactly where i want it So when I open my eye, I want it to still go a bit higher up. So I'm just pushing, I'm not dragging, I'm just pushing. And then I'm going into that E35 brush that we used to blend the um, transition and crease shade before, but I'm not picking anything up and I'm just going to go over that space and just blend the edges. And see why I say I don't do my brows because I pretty much get right up to my brow bone with this. So now I'm just going to take the shade played out. I'm just going to tap into that, dust off any excess. This is the Provocateur palette from NARS and if they release this as a holiday collection. This is the shade Screech. I'm just using this sort of pewter silver shade right here. So any sort of silver shade eyeshadow would do. Melt has a stack that's got silver shadow in it. Any silvery glitter shadow that you have, shimmer shadow, just get that and wet on a liner brush. I'm actually going to wet the brush this time because I don't want the fallout. And we're just gonna basically draw a wing with the silver shadow. I'm just switching brushes to that ABH Swiss brush. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills glitter in the shade Party. This is the this is the trick. This is the pony. So just get a nice iridescent blue glitter. This one is gorgeous. And you can either use a glitter glue or just use it wet and just pat it onto we're just going to pat it on top of the liner. So that's why I said silver base is nice because if you're using it this way where you're only patting it on top unless you really pack it you're going to get the base showing through so that's why i said use silver okay so i'm just going to repeat the left eye and speed it up a bit. that silver shade might just put that on the inner corner I'm not using an inner corner I'm using my tight line brush it's just what's available to me right now there we go okay just gonna quickly do my brows and then I'll do the rest of my face I'm just using the Precisely My Brow from Benefit and I'm in shade 6. Got a bunch of my Ardell Wispies. These are the full Wispies. I usually wear Demi Wispies but I'm, fe I'm feeling saucy so. <laughs> so we are doing the lash dance guys. Do the lash dance, do the lash dance. So we're just waiting for the glue to dry. Water break. <laughs> I'm 
my primer base with the Tarcha Skin, Tarcha Skin, Tarcha Seal Canvas. I got the Bento Box set in the for the holiday release, so I've got a mini, so I've been trying that out. So this is only the second time I've used it, so I can't really tell you much. And it's a bit difficult to apply because you don't, and I know in the full size one, they give you a, um, like a dime thing. I've heard, I've actually heard conflicting stuff about this primer. I've heard that the dime is just to get the product started with opening, apparently the founder said. And I've also heard that it's to dispense the right amount of product. So I don't actually know which one it is. I'm also trying out a um, new foundation. It's the Natasha Denona one. So I just got a sample. So I'll just be putting that on. Just so you know, just in case the color is a bit funny. This is like the Huda video all over again. I've had foundations like this where I put it on and it looks like a mask though. And after a while it's set and then it doesn't. I'm just looking at myself in the viewfinder and I look terrifying. I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Maple. Standard for me. This is also sometimes why I don't do my lower eye makeup until after because I just ruin it anyway. All right, I'll set my face now. I'm just using the Hourglass Veil Powder. I've actually been liking this powder, but um, because I'm oily, it doesn't really do much for oil control and I know it's not really designed to do that. It adds quite a nice sheen to my um, face. I did get the mini of that as well because I'm not spending $60 upwards on a mascara that I don't even know will work. <laughs> on a mascara. On a powder. <laughs> So that's the thing as well, guys, like, you know, don't be afraid to just, you know, you can't keep up with every single new product and every single trend. So it's honestly best to just try things out, get samples, get mini versions of stuff that you would like or that is coming out and make your own decision rather than spending huge amounts of money on products and then not liking it and having to finish a product because you spent so much money on it. Then I'm going to just contour with the Natasha Denona Sculpting Powder. I found it so much nicer just having one product to contour your face with than having a kit. Most of the time you only use one shade for contour, one shade for highlight, or maybe you use two summer winter shade, I don't know. But you, most of the time people in a palette you usually have only two shades that you use. So rather than buying a palette that has six, four to six shades, just get the shade you know you're using. Nice powder, finely milled, lovely packaging. Mirror is a really good size and it's housed quite nicely. And I find the powder is quite easy to blend and it is a bit easy to over apply, especially because it's deeper and I just keep going and going and going and then I'm like, oh my gosh, Lou, it's too much. Let's go back in under our eyes. Okay, highlight, we're using the ABH Amreezy. Oh, let's not blind you guys. The ABH Amreezy highlight, gorgeous, gorgeous glow. I'm using my Wayne Goss number 10. For blush, I'm using NARS Dolce Vita. I have a mini from a Christmas set. For lips, Colourpop Lippy Pencil in Pitch. And then I'm going in with the Sephora. I've got the Sephora um, Cream Lip Stain and it's in the shade 54. I really like the Sephora Lippy liquid lipsticks. They're actually quite underrated and they're really reasonable as well. I don't know why I'm making faces in the mirror, guys. Okay, so this is the finished look. It is a bit different. I got the accessories going with this one. I really wanted to bring out the colors of Aquarius and the blues and it's just so much fun with the blues I know um a lot of a lot of palettes you guys are represented in blue so I wanted to bring in the blue uh, but also bring in some of the silver effects so that's why I did the the liner with the silver and also tap some of that glitter on but blue glitter but not just blue like a bit of that aquamarine, a bit of that light turquoise colour. Just remember that just because your zodiac sign is Aquarius doesn't mean you have to only wear blue eyeshadow and vice versa. This is just fun and this is just my interpretation of your sign. You guys are independent, very different. I love 
this scarf so i've just got this going on and these sort of wispy earrings with a bit of the blue a bit of the pearly kind of details comment below if you are an aquarius i would love to chat and let me know what you thought of the look and if i did you guys justice or not on your way out don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it can't wait to see you back here again bye